Ahoy gamers and welcome back to Diablo 2 Resurrected as we play through the game as a hardcore paladin. In this episode we start Act 3. We respec our character from a, a quite a strong Zealadin to a very weak Hamadin. I say weak. Hamadin is really strong. I'm just a noob and I don't know how to play it. We make our way through the forests and we start collecting parts of Kalim or his body parts uh, so we can essentially counter Mephisto who's infested these woods. So without further ado, let's jump on him. And we are back in Diablo 2 Resurrected as we play through a hardcore paladin called Rothadin. What's What button is it? There we go. Look at this. Look what this used to look like. That's something. Right, so here we are. Let's listen to the story. Ancient city anymore. I hope you brought your wits with you, for sanity is in short supply here. My name is Rotley. We'll be able to pronounce that while drunk, that's for sure. Rotley. It'd be a pleasure to help you. I don't have many customers these days. As you can see, the populace has been brutally decimated by the forces of Mephisto. The canals run red with blood, and demons roam the land. Right, demons. Demons are bad. ...has already reclaimed much of Karas. The only safety you'll find is here at the dark side, where a magical warden holds the jungle evils at bay. But I don't know how long it will last. To make matters worse, the children of Zakarum are in league with the forces of Mephisto. The Zakarum have concentrated their power in the temple city of Travancol, located within Karas deep in the jungle wilderness. It's true, their zeal is unmatched, but I say the so-called warriors of light are nothing more than right. the twisted puppets of a hidden... So, I'm not very... I've never actually looked at the lore or the story of this game past Act 2. So this is all essentially brand new to me. Because I always got sped run through the game. And I never actually played this play single uh, this game single player. So let's look around and see. So he's obviously some forward trader. Looks like it's well there's, there's Decker Kane. I've not set foot in glorious Kurast for many years. But I never would have imagined it could be so corrupted. Certainly this must be Mephisto's work. You'd best get going, my friend. Diablo and Bale are still out there, and you must find them. I have to find Diablo and Bale. It's fine. Cursed. Okay, looking at this, where there are, where the locations are. Fine. Once again, I don't know where the quests are. You now speak to Ormus, good so this guy's a mage. He was once a He's not... What's he got to trade? Okay, looks like nothing really of use. Okay, fine. Battle staff, battle staff. Okay. So the build, the the guide I've been using, our essentially tells you to change your build here. Hello. So these are just mages, for the looks of it. Don't really want a mage or sorceress, but what she got to trade. Okay, so here it wants me to change build from essentially what I've got now into a hammerdin. So I'm going to essentially level up one more time, come back, and respec. Damn it! I wish you people would just leave. Okay, this is just an alchemist. He's got essentially nothing on him, but I can gamble if I wanted to gamble some items. It's a lot of money to gamble, especially on these. So I haven't got any quests. I haven't found anyone who will give me a quest yet. So, wherever I'm just lost. Oh, Natalia. That is an assassin, isn't it? Yes. Greetings, Hero. I've heard of your exploits and... Uh... Okay, yeah. Got nothing to give me, though. Uh, nothing over here, because it's not appearing on my minimap. And anything down here? Nothing. Okay, fine. So, we have no quests. Obviously, we have quests. We haven't started any of them yet. So let's just head into the jungle, level up, and then I'll go and respec. I'm probably going to be shown a lot more of this place, because I've not done any of the story, so I don't actually know what to expect. Uh, so here we are, Spider Forest. 
There's a Dark Wanderer. Is that meant to be Diablo? I think it, I think it may have, should have been Diablo or a depiction of Diablo. So, I've put 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. So I don't want to put three more points into strength. And holy fire, no, and I'll quickly go and respec into being a hammered in, I think he wants me to be. So, we'll be back in a second. So, that is now us with the hammered in. Um, so, use a lot of my chips, gems to make this build. Me because I wanted to change my scepter around. But it's not the end of the world. Um, now it's done, it's done. Don't need to worry about it. Um, obviously my worry now is about my mana. Uh, so, but looking at that, that seems to wipe them out. So I shouldn't need to spam that many hammers. This is the first time I've ever made a hammer din of any type. Interesting. So they seem to be quite good. If they hit terrain, it just stops. Okay, that's quite interesting. That's good to know. Uh, how much does it cost? Six per. Six per summon. Not enough mana. So definitely need a way to regenerate um, some more mana. It's locked. That's for sure. Because I don't think one hammer is enough to kill something like this. Maybe it is. It's fine by me. Okay, there is a elite over here. So we want to kind of drink some of these mana potions. They're quite strong. I'm quite happy with this. Just need to get used to using it, that's for sure. Uh, as soon as I've never used a healer din before. Just want to re-equip my stuff. Breastplate. That'd be good to have. Uh, greater healing potion. want to replace my stuff with that. Fire... That could have been pretty bad. Let's pick up this lesser healing potion. Um, or light healing potion. Oh, there's a well here anyway. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do here. Oh, spider forest. There's a waypoint, isn't there? So I need to, I'm going to continue looking for the waypoint in the spider forest, I guess. So I want to go this way. Sorry, Merc, you're going to have to run back. So it's got to be over this left-hand side somewhere. Oh, there is a elite here. Didn't hit the elite at all. There we go. Dropped a jade figurine. I interesting. Trade this for something more valuable. Like so, I can trade with something more valuable, huh? So that's the first quest. Ask Kane about the jade figurine. You know, put that into my storage, and let's carry on. Two, three. Three should be enough. Yeah, three is more than enough. Definitely, I just want the waypoint so I can run back to town. Speak to Kane. I'm not really sure what I need to do to mitigate some of my... the cost of these um, hammers. Guess I just... Hope for the best and let my um, let my guy do all the damage. Thanks. Uh, buh, buh, buh. I think the waypoint should be down here. This looks rather special. Oh, this look doesn't look special at all. Um, excuse a mana potion in my inventory. Keep pressing control rather than shift when I go to spam my attack. It does only take one hammer to kill most mobs, though. 
just about getting them hit by the hammers. Be good if I can just drink a potion straight from the floor. Sounds a bit weird there, actually. But you get you I'm sure you understand what I mean. Uh, apparently there's a safe spot as well with Meph the Mephisto, which is the boss of this uh, this act with the hammers, but I don't know enough about the game. Don't know whether that's true or not. Um, let's keep running around. As I've got stealth, I've got slightly faster run speed compared to all these mobs. Greater healing potion, let's use that. So we'll jump back once we find the waypoint. Uh, so I just finally found this guy's eye. Um, Kaleem's eye. Don't know what it's for. But uh, we found it. That's good. I'm sure he's going to appreciate me finding his eyes and body parts. Because uh, we found it in this random spider cavern. Um, yeah. Again, used to using the hammers in here as well. It's a bit different. Uh, but we'll get there. It'll just take a bit of time. Go on exploring. Found the spider forest waypoint. Which is great. I uh, found like the flayer jungle to the far left, but I'm going to head back and speak to Deca Kane about this jade figurine. I wonder what's so special about it. And here he is. Back in Loot Golane, Meshif told me he had a fondness for jade figurines. On his trading voyages, he collected an odd assortment of such small statues. Never forget that your ultimate purpose here in Kurast okay. is to. So I want to. Oh, he just spoke about the eye. Okay, not really sure what the eye is still for, but hey. Um, tier rune I can save. Put tier rune in there. This I, this I can sell, that I can sell. And some more gems. Bing, bing. So, who was it? M Mischief and Callum's Will was one of the other quests I was working on. Uh, let's go talk to Mischief. Well, I gave you my word and brought you here as promised. But by um, all that still praise you. So he misses his homeland. Will complete the set I was collecting. Here, I've had the statuette of a golden bird. So now he's giving me a golden bird. Okay, interesting. Let's sell to this guy, Optimus. I'm gonna call this guy Optimus. No, it's not his name. But he's now called Optimus for now. Decker Kane, what about this golden bird? About a sage named Kuile, who studied the mysteries of life beyond death. If I remember correctly. His ashes were ensconced within a golden statuette. Okay, so now take this to Alcor. Alcor is just at the top here. He's the weird kind of witch doctory kind of guy. And here he is. What have you got for me? The golden bird of Guile. Thank you, my friend. Busy yourself while I experiment with the ashes within it. Okay. Return for him to my ward. Okay, I don't know how long it takes for him to make the reward. Oh. It's made a potion for me. Right click to permanently add 20 life. That's quite useful. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Right, now back to the spider forest. There's a few little caves I found. Uh, so I'm going to go through them. One room's the arachnid lair, which is just here. Let's go see what's inside. So I found this random blade here, the Gidbin. From lighting that, a special mob came after me. Took him out and it dropped the uh, blade. So I don't know what to expect. Uh, however, this quest tells me to go and find this guy's brain in this dungeon here. So that's gonna be what I'm gonna work on now. Uh, loads are just random running around and doing side quests, I guess. Um, so let's jump into this dungeon. Uh, these smaller locations are quite difficult with the hammered in. Um, well, it's probably because I haven't arranged or sorted out, or figured out, I should say, the range and how to use the hammers properly now, or yet. Um, so, annoyingly, I am not able to position myself very well, so I'm not actually doing very much. My... Uh, what's it called? My mercenary is doing more damage and being more effective than I am. But I think I'll get used to using Hamadins. Or at least I hope I do. Um, this is what I've decided to make it for the time being. 
a level, I think at level 75, uh, I should be able to respec on Ephraim. Nice. Um, level 75 is when the build essentially teaches you or allows you to kind of switch back uh, to Xeliden. So I just need to get to level 75. So I'm, I'm almost there, like a third of the way. So we're going to clear out this dungeon. Annoyingly, I want to go for that door. And when when I figure out how to use the hammers, I'm sure this will be fine. I'm just just a noob. That's all. Uh, so I was reading, I sent you this little guide, and it's like, oh, make sure you drop your hammers and lure the enemies into your hammer field, as it called it. It's like, okay. Well, I don't know how big a hammer field is, so I'm just going to guess. Um... Okay, entry to the second dungeons here. I think there is a waypoint in this location. I'm just going to port back to town and see if there is a waypoint in there. Flayer jungle. There's a one in the jungle itself, but not inside the dungeon. So once I clear this dungeon out, I will go and find the one in the forest. Uh, just for my own little completionist. Uh, let's spam some... Hammers in here. Oh, that was pretty low. Uh, that's probably why, because there is a elite there, and I don't have any mana. Let's, do, let's have that. And they dropped a load of potions. Uh, that's not the end of the world. So let's grab a mana and a healing potion. There you go. Healing potion done. Just get resist from lightning, I guess. That'll do. And another healing potion. Her mana potion. Beep. Let's drink that. Oh, there's a lot in here. I'm um, going to wait for them to come to me. In the meantime, we're going to have this. Ooh, just drink that. Chipped emerald. That's good. Another mana potion. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Hammerdin at all. I can understand it being good. And it does do a lot of damage. I think it's probably just going to be me just getting used to it, I guess. And if I had more mana, I could spam it more often. But as you can see at the moment... Okay. Um, I don't have enough mana. Let's drink that. I'm heavily relying on my mercenary. Right, let's. Okay, that did nothing to these guys. Might as well reuse that shrine. Uh, might see if there's a. Is there a. If I switch to. Melee, okay, it doesn't do very much damage. Divine Bolt, that does a little bit. That does a cost mana as well. Fine. Let's put this as F1. Normal attack is F2. So at least I can switch to do normal attack when I run out of mana. Rather than just stand in there. Not enough mana. Uh, annoyingly, I run out of mana already. F2, just start hitting them. Yeah, this isn't as interesting as my Zealadin I had. But it's too late now, I can't respec. I can't go back just yet. Uh, level 3 dungeon. Hopefully it's in here. It's not that way, that's for sure. That's a blocked, blocked way. Anything down here? A little bit of gold. That'll do. A little bit of gold down here as well. Um, a couple of baskets. Gonna leave those baskets alone. This is all clear. Ah, finally, some enemies. Oh, there's a level. Nice. Right, so I want to put 
That's my points of vitality, I guess. And this, all the points in this goes into hammers. Does increase the cost of the hammers, but never mind. Don't know where I was getting shot from. Sounds like I'm still being attacked. Or one of us are. Or even me or the mercenary. And where do I go? This is a big room in here. This looks like this could be the place I need to go. Okay, dropped an if rune. It's really it of note. Um, we dropped a mana potion, healing potion. You drink both of these. And in this chest, there's the guy's brain. That's what I'm looking for. To so take this back. And then I need to take all this into the sewers under the Kursk Bazaar. So, I'm going to head back to town and end this episode. Um, with the handing in that dagger thing I just picked up. So I want to take it to Ormus, who's here. You have done well, noble hero. Da, 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 da. Ormus congratulates you. The old spirits of Skatsim. So now he's put protect, protective, um, something protective, uh, like cleanse or protection it's over the... We're giving him magic ring. Uh, attack rating, dexterity, that's probably better than having that. Plus 10 MF. I'll hold on to the 10 MF anyway. This is most fortunate. Kaleem's brain knows Place in Hard Retrieve, along with Khan's other relics, the eye, a heart, and flail. Okay, so I need the rest of the items. Does it tell me where to find the rest of them? Heart is in there, okay, fine. It wants me to talk to Ashara. There's loads of just running back and forth on this in this act at the moment. Uh, that's more MF as well. Let's hold on to that. Uh, brain as well. Hold on to the brain. Okay, I can probably sell most of these. I can go talk to Ashara. Ashara's not down here, is she? No, it's Natalie. That's uh, Natalie. Ashara's uh, over here in this top left. I think. Yeah, there she is. Talk to her. Now that fewer of the iron wolves are needed to guard the docks. Okay, I can now hire. Said free of charge, but it looks like I still have to pay. Um, let's sell some of this stuff to her. There we go. I keep hold of these. And let's dump everything else into my stash. So, I will end this episode here. So, if you made this far, thank you much for watching. Hopefully next episode we can make our way through, hopefully get the rest of uh, Kalim's will, the rest of the items for it, and we can continue to search the jungle for Mephisto and Diablo and maybe uh, ba or Bao, Balao, whatever his name is. So, have a wonderful day and peace out.